When you visit the local fly-in, you see manufacturers trying to uh, show their wares to the public, but it's a lot more fun to talk to the public who has uh, partaken of these wares and seems to be reasonably satisfied with what they've done. Mike Sigmund, you've uh, got yourself one heck of an airplane here, a Zodiac 601 XL. Um, why? Tell us about it. Okay, uh, I chose the 601 mainly because I don't like bucking rivets by myself when I got nobody to help. Uh, I want it all metal. I've worked with composite and I've worked with fabric and the XL had an excellent airframe. It was stressed so well and so easy to put together and the plans were excellent. Plus it was AVEX rivets, pop rivets. I wore out two hand riveters doing it. I got a hell of a grip. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, the, the other thing was is, is I wanted a, a cross country aircraft that was good on fuel, along with an engine that was dependable and uh, reasonably priced. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. I would not build a, this type of aircraft if I can't put a firewall forward on it with a Jabiru engine. Uh, that, it, that engine is so smooth, it's like having a sewing machine out there in front of you. But you got a 170 pound engine that's putting out 120, 127 horse with the new ones with hydraulic lifters. Uh, the engine is, is really nice. I, I've got the wood prop on it, <clears throat> which is a GT out of Italy. And I went with that because it's what they call a VTZ prop, which is in between a climb and cruise prop. Uh, it, it's just a, a, an excellent combination. I can, I can fly this thing at uh, uh, 25 to 2700 RPM, uh, cruise at 118 to 120, burning five gallons of fuel an hour. If I want to go faster and suck up fuel, I can go faster. Uh, uh, normal, normal rate of climb on this uh, at about 75%, in other words, about 80 miles an hour, is uh, uh, right at, uh, oh, about 25 to 28, and then it goes up to about 350. I can go clear up to 1,200 feet per minute on it and stay at about 350. So it's a real stable aircraft. Uh, you do notice it when you're flying solo versus dual mm -hmm. with two people in it. Um, it's, uh, it is pitchy. You have to watch your elevator control. It has extreme elevator control. Uh, with the Jabiru engine being a 170 pounds ramp weight, uh, you're aft CG. And I don't know if you've seen my cockpit, but it looks like a 747. <laughs> and since I had the uh, steam gauges, I put them all in. I put the uh, uh, Trio uh, autopilot in it. The new kits are, are all uh, uh, hinged ailerons. This is the hingeless aileron, which is a heavy aileron. Mm -hmm. And the problem I'm running into with it right now is the fact that there's so much pull on it, on the aileron, that it overpowers the 30-pound clutch on a Trio. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now back to Aero TV. Talk a little bit about this, the uh, the kit, the product, the service and support from uh, from Zenith. I, I can't say enough about that. When you call when you call Zenith, it doesn't matter whether you whether you call uh, Michael Hines down in uh, California or whether you call Mexico, Missouri. Uh, you're talking to one of the Heinzes. Uh, either that or you're talking to Roger. Uh, you've got technical issues, you want to make changes, you call them and, and one of the one of the Heinzes is telling you, Nicholas or somebody is telling you whether or not you can do it. And, and you've got to be careful with what you're going to build and what you're going to fly. And I enjoy building as much as I do flying though. Sounds like a plan. Well, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. We appreciate your time and uh, enjoy your flying. You bet. Thank you very much. <laughs>